Hi guys, um, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to fix the one of two services running issue with WAM server. So when you install WAM server for the first time, you'll notice that when you run it and go to the taskbar and pull it up from the tray, the icon is in yellow and says local server, one of two services running. Normally, both services need to be running for WAM server to work properly and the WAM server icon will be ye yellow, or will be green, sorry, for it to work properly. So when you try to um, go to the local host by clicking on the, the, the WAM server icon and local host, it errors out because all services are not running. The reason is uh, WAM server uses Apache and Apache uses um, the port 80. But the port 80 is also used by Skype, so there's a conflict in the port 80 between Skype and um, Skype and Apache. So what we want to do is, since we don't want to uninstall Skype, what we can do is um, configure Apache to use a different port other than port 80. So let's get started. Um, for in order for us to do that, you can you need to go to uh, the WAM server icon click on it and go all the way to Apache and go to this file httpd.conf and click on it. The file will open with a text editor. In my case, it will open with Notepad++. So what we are looking for in this file is a parameter called listen. So um, the listen parameter binds Apache to a specific IP address. So okay, this is the, this is the parameter right here. You notice that it uses the port 80 so what, what we want to do is change this port from 80 to something else for example I'll change mine from 80 to 8081 80 to 8081 and then save the file and exit once that is done we need to restart WAM server such that WAM server can pick up the uh, the configurations. So we'll go to WAM server and exit, and then run it again as administrator. So you notice that when WAM server restarts, the icon is now green and it says all services running. So this means that WAM server is working and everything is working. So let's test it. So let's go to WAM server again and click on localhost to, to, to make sure that it's working. It still says not found, but that's nothing to worry about. So the workaround is um, go to the, uh, the address bar where it says localhost and type in column the part number you entered in the httpd.conf file. I entered 8081 in mine and hit enter. Boom. So once you do that, you it brings us to this WAM server configuration page. This means that WAM server has been fully configured and it's working on this local machine. Um, just for a quick recap, WAM server, it's a web it's a Windows uh, development environment for web applications using um, PH, uh, using PHP, Apache, and MySQL databases. So now this tells me that my WAM server is working. Let's see if my, let's test my PHP to make sure it's working too. So go back to the WAM server icon and click on PHP my admin. It errors out. Remember that you need to um, include the port number you typed in the httpd.conf file port 8081 and hit enter so it brings us to php my admin page this means that everything is working fine so um thank you for watching 